Today we're going to start off with a template, so don't forget to grab your free template in the description. Um, if you're curious to how I made the template, it's just real easy. I just, let's go into my elements, let's go into recently used. What I did was grab a square. You can size it whatever way you want to do. Um, size it, and then you're going to duplicate it, put one at the bottom. Um, the other thing I used was these right here, which is a buildable Instagram UI outline chat bubble comment icon. icon. I was saying outcon. What? Uh, buildable Instagram UI outline paper airplane scent icon. And the third one I used was this uh, white heart vector. Um, I am on the free version, so you might have better elements and stuff to use for this than I do. It was hard to find. So originally, you know, everybody does the little spillovers with these. Um, it's hard for me to get see anything that's pouring. I mean, I found this picture here, but that's not even a, a big enough pour for me to really use. Um, so, yeah, I don't. Yeah. So anyway. So I did mine a little bit different, but the technique is going to be the same regardless of how you want to do it. So the first thing you want to do is pick out what photo you want to use. Um, let's see what I have stuff removed the background on because we're going a little chinchy on this. Just, we'll, do, we'll try to do this one. Okay. So to do that one, what I did, let's go to photos and grab her. Recently used. We'll grab her. So I want to put one of her up here and one of her down here. What you want to do is go ahead and go and what I did is I set her as background, download this as a PNG. So you're going to go into file, download PNG. And then what you want to do is select the current page and go ahead and download it. I've already done that. And then you're going to upload it. If you got pro and remove the background and make sure it's just like her hand, this and this. So when you, re-upload it back in and remove the background it's going to look like this so if you're doing something where you want something that pours because if we go into elements over here and look at pour and if you notice they're all pro elements so i really can't use anything because it really it's not great for me it's these crown 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 that's why I couldn't use anything to pour. Like this one would be a really good one because see how much of a pour you got. So you could do something like use this one. Let me see if it'll let me uh, put it up on the page so you can see it. Something like this. And then you could use this as a pour. Even if you're doing, I would say maybe like even a waterfall. So if you have the pro version, I would take this and maybe uh, take the cut part off. Like cut, take this off. And then maybe a waterfall down into something in the bottom, a cup. Um, let's see. Let me do a little chinchy thing here. We're going to, we're going to do some live action right here, y'all. So let me get, let me experiment. Now this is pro. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for using this on a tutorial or not, but shh, don't tell nobody. Um, so next what I'm going to do here and I am going to put, let's search for a water ball. We're doing some live experimentation here, y'all. That's the way to do it, right? Um, photo, see all, let's see. Oh, this one's free. Um, yeah, let's use this one. Let's flip it, flip it, flip it, put it in here. And then what I want to do is enlarge it like so. Bring it over a little bit and then, yeah, yeah. Well, that one worked. That one. Take that one. Let's see. Position, layers. I want that on top of the frame like that. And then let's say home, home. Let's elements. Let's see. Let's do photos. Not recently used cup of water. And then oh we can grab why is everything why is everything got to be pro? I am not a pro user, y'all. 
Okay, so I'm going to just grab this one. It's not going to be what I really want it to be, but... And then I can move this cup down to, like, there. And now you can see, like, the water is pouring in to the cup. So if you can... And another tip, very good tip. So once you get your pictures where you want them in here, because you're going to be moving technically what is a picture, and you're going to see it's going to try to grab every time, take these and lock them into place. If you need to make an adjustments, you can unlock them afterwards, but lock them into place. So now when you move this over top, it's not problematic. So, and then you can do something like that. And that water is going into there, or you can do something similar like that. And I don't think I can, can I edit this? It's not, oh, and I use the new editor. <gasps> Ooh, this is not let me use the new edit, the old editor. To edit and play. Oh, that's because this is a. That's because this is a pro element. It's not letting me do anything. I thought I was. I lost the the old editor. I was about to cry. Yeah, y'all would hear me cry. But that that to some degree is the effect. So uh, let's go do it up here. And we're gonna take her and start working on her. So what I want to do is try to get her bigger. Like so. And I want this in between. So I'm going to put her here. See, I wish when I had this one that it was bigger where like the cup was like the rim of the cup was down here. But it's just, you know, what you got to work with, you got to work around with sometime and make it a little bit different and make it your own and do what you got to do. So I am going to try to match these up. That looks, let's see, over. That looks pretty good. Nope, hold on. She's squishy on the other side. Okay, so I'm matching her up. But a lot of times when people use this, they're going to use two different pictures. So for this one, I am just using the same picture, but the process is the same. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lock this in place for the moment because I'm getting ready to play. Oh, I should have put her up here goofball yes i am a goofball y'all but that doesn't matter all this is going to be right here and it's just what it is oh and this right here is a just a line and i made it a very light brown color i used the the lightest brown right there i used this one this shade of gray why did i say brown it has been a long day y'all i am just you know but anyway we're just going to use this because the middle is clear and you can see better and I'm going to take this one and just like scoot it on up here so we can play with it in this one. And then what all you're going to do is go up here. Oh, one thing I want to do, because I like shadows if you ever watch my work. Okay, yes. The old editor is back. All right, you're using the new editor. Nope, I don't like the new editor. Revert to the old. All right, now we go to edit image. I'm going to go into shadows and I am going to put curved on it. I want that thing popping off a little bit. So now that I've got it off there, now all I want to do is align it. So I'm going to go in and align my photos. Um, in the one in the beginning, I actually colored her fingernails. The remove BG took the fingernail out right there. So I just took the draw tool, colored in her fingernail, and then I put a white little line and, and turned the transparency down. So it would, uh, you know look like she had a fingernail with a uh, black fingernail polish on it. So, and now all I'm going to do is line these up. And once you got it lined up the way you want to, and let's see, we need to go maybe a little bit in right here and then up. This is always the fun part is the lining the stuff up. It's sometimes they're easy. Sometimes not so easy, depending on how you're lining them up. Um, I can go all the way up with her right there. And there you go. And she is going from one to the other. I've got them going. Um, some people just have like the 3D come in and just goes into this picture. I kind of like it where it's going both ways. I mean, it's 3D all the way across from one page and the other page is popping up to the other one. And that's how simple that is. It is all you just take what you want, remove the background of what you're going to flow. So if this is a glass, if this is, a, let's go back to 
photos and go back into oh that's not photos that's audio girl like i said been one of those days oh where are my photos hello 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 all right let's go we'll go the other way then all right poor let's go into photos so like you got some good options of pores in in the in ugh, da, da, da. hi y'all i'm michelle and i'm a goober okay now back to what i'm saying so like if, if you see here you've got some great pores if you've got pro so you can just use one of these go remove the background this one right here doesn't even have a background so you could take like this right here and just automatically drop it in the picture so if you have something you're pouring that is this color right here, you can just go ahead and add it to your picture and see, and then you can add some, uh, that curve or something to it and go right into what you're doing. Like say, Hey, uh, this is thing and this, I'm pouring it into a honeycomb or this is honey and it's going into a honeycomb and I got a honeycomb down here. And then you have a picture of, let's see, let's go up here. Let's go, uh, farm. Let's go farm. And then I oh, will take this one up here. Oops. Nope. Let's not do that. Uh, a lock. See, I ain't even following my own rules at the moment. All right, come on. You go. I ain't lock you. Why are you not moving? Okay. Unlock. Yes, I did. See? All right. Why is it still locked? All right, here. Here, you sit there for a minute. And then, oh, what I want to put? Honey. Let's see. Honey. All right, we'll just do... I don't know. Let's try this one. And I just want the, the blop. I want the big old blop at the bottom, something like that. And take this up, oh, hold on. We've got lock. And then we're going to go up and, hey, that one should be locked. Lock. Oh no, where'd my thing go? Oh, up, up. I see it. I see it. I see it. All right, come on in there. So you could do something like that. I mean, that doesn't match, but you see what I'm saying. And you can just do that. And then you can put your highlights and you can do your shadow and say that's pouring into that bowl. But it, like you, like I said, if you're going back and you look through the pro pictures, you have a lot of options when it comes to pouring. I don't because as you can see, they're all pro. So for me, it's hard for me to kind of do like a pour effect. So of course, I do my own version like you see in the beginning where it's more like um, popping out or going between two different posts in Instagram. But that's how you do that. It's really, really simple. All you need to do is find what you want to do, remove the background of the part, and, get, and take out the part that you want to be in the center. So if it's a pour or um, like I did the... Let's uh, unlock this and detach. Um, I did also a like a before I did a kitty, or you could have like her just kind of like sitting on something, and like her sitting on the edge of this post. Let's move out of the way. Delete. Oh, I didn't want to delete her. Delete. So say you want like her sitting on the edge of your post like this. So you want her sitting in between your Instagram posts doing like, hey, don't I look cute? Or, you know, any kind of thing. Just spice it up, make it a 3D. So we would just go in here and take her and do the little curve on her. I know I'm going outside of uh, kind of what the job says, but you can do that. And have her sitting out there. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, because you know me, I've got to go a little extra. I'm going to go into shadow because I need one to 
prop behind. I want graphics. All right, and I'm going to take like one like this one or this one, which is the illustration of a shadow or the drop shadow. Either one. Drop shadow looks a little bit darker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into position and I'm going to put it like behind there. And I'm going to spread it. Yep, I'm going to spread it out. And I'm going to put it up. And I am going to kind of like do it there. Let's unlock this one and do the same thing here. We're going to duplicate that and then put this. See, it, it, it won't be mean. So let's go into position. Let's put it behind here so it shouldn't grab now. Don't grab, don't grab. And let's do my arrow key, use my arrow keys on my keyboard to kind of give that little bit of a shadow back there and then kind of let's do that one a little lighter it's not a very good shadow is it? it really isn't but i was trying to get it to look like it's popping off the page this is live designing y'all this is what this is all about this is live designing oh i know i'm gonna use my favorite my favorite shadow of a position go back here Go underneath and then go across like so and then go underneath and then that'll make that look like it's popping off like it's another piece. I'm going to duplicate that and make sure I move it underneath. I'm going to spin it around and go underneath. Now it kind of looks like these pictures are popping off. That gives it even more of a 3D effect. So if you want to go like full on 3D, you can do that. And if you really, really want to go full on 3D, if you was using this cup, I would remove the background on this cup and then re-put it on, on top of this one with some curve and make it look like it's popping out of this background here. That's just me. And I hope I answered the question for, for the task that I was assigned this morning about doing this effect. I kind of went on a tangent, but together we learn stuff and design is all about your imagination and of course i let my imagination run wild on this one y'all so by the end of this we've made totally different stuff from what we started off making so and that is all about design so i love you guys i will see you on the next one bye y'all